What are your expectations for the trading week ahead? Well, I expect a little of more of the same, although I see the, the, the trend of um, the, um, declines actually coming down this week. Um, right now, obviously, with the market news and rumors surrounding the banking sector, there's a lot of uncertainty. I think investors will be waiting to see what the outcome of um, the audit of the 14 remaining banks. So in the short term, I think there is still a lot of downward risk in the market. However, I think that actually um, get, um, opens up trading opportunities for short-term investors because I expect that eventually if things work out and um, the like, like CBN has assured that they, they expect very little surprises um, from the audit of the 14 remaining banks, then I think that the market will be set for a short-term rally. Well, if you're looking at some of these counters, I mean, we mentioned uh, GT Bank and Diamond Bank as well, both managing to bag gains on Friday. And so certainly highlighting that some investors are climbing in and starting to take advantage of the opportunities. Would you be playing in the banking space right now? And if so, where would you be buying? Well, I think the whole sector is still going to probably suffer for a while from the news um, and the rumors surrounding the sector. So in the short term, I think, especially for traders, I think w w we should really play it on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, on Friday, we saw very few stocks gain. We saw, um, and over the whole of last week, only five stocks gained as a whole. So on a day-to-day -day basis, we want to see when does that trend um, change. We expect a change. Um, in the short term, perhaps that won't happen over the next one or two weeks. But when that change comes, definitely it's a buying opportunity. And in terms of um, specifics, um, obviously the, the, the obvious sus suspects are those um, banks that have been cleared by the CBN, mm -hmm. the likes of um, GTB, First Bank. They are looking very attractive and more attractive as, as they continue to come down. So I think for now, Diamond Bank also, we've always um, liked Diamond Bank. I think it's a good play. Well, of course, also, uh, you know, triggering some interest would be those that are sitting uh, with enough muscle to acquire. We've just watched that report where uh, this entire cleanup process opens up the possibility of more mergers and acquisitions in the Nigerian banking sector. Let's look at some of the banks that you see with, ha you know, having enough muscle to actually acquire some of their weaker counterparts. Well, it takes, in terms of muscles, I think a lot would depend on um, the outcome of the audit of the 14 remaining banks because um, some of the banks that were not cleared in the first round were some of the biggest banks in Nigeria. And I think that um, obviously to, to, um, many, uh, the, the scale of the problem was, was a surprise to many. So I think it might be wise to look through this process and see the outcome of the, of the mm -hmm. um, audit of the 14 remaining banks, which, we, which the CBN has said should be done over the next two to three weeks. Outside of the banking sector, well, I mean, we've had alarm triggered around Dangote Industries, around African Petroleum, Oando as well. At the same time, we've seen many of these uh, companies come to the fore issuing disclaimers. Are these stocks being as severely punished as uh, the banking stocks, or are we looking at more of a wait-and-see approach, uh, you know, being adopted by investors when it comes to these uh, stocks outside of the banking sector specifically? I think it's more of a wait and see. Um, yes, indeed, some, some specific listed companies have been um, mentioned amongst the, the debtor banks. Um, but I think investors would, would look at that um, closely and look at it in the context of the companies. For instance, in Oando, um, which was mentioned, um, I think that if you're looking at, the con you're looking at it in the context of what that company is doing, um, the company has well over um, close to a billion dollars in debt. So the amount that was actually um, mentioned in the, in the advertorial by the central bank is actually very small rel relative to their total debt. And um, looking at the type of businesses they are in, in Wando, for instance, um, they have several cash sources. And we think that they should be able to manage that level of debt um, quite easily. So I think investors will be looking at them on a case-by-case -case basis.